Now to Mount Everest, where at least 10 climbers and guides died in an avalanche triggered by the earthquake. Chris Glover has that story. Hello, guys. This is uh, Arjun from uh, Advanced Space Camp of Makalu. We've had a lot of uh, disturbance here due to the earthquake, which was reported in Nepal. Uh, all along the place, now it's covered into clouds. Uh, we had quite a big few big avalanches coming down of those phases. Uh, from here, we had a, quite a bit of rockfall. Uh, most of our team is okay. Uh, a remarkable first-hand account members. from a survivor on Mount Everest. It's one of the busiest times of the year on the mountain, right at the peak of climbing season. The earth-shattering quake was only 200 kilometers away, and it wasn't long before tweets and Twitter pictures brought the tragedy to the world. One climber wrote, huge disaster, helped searched and rescued victims through huge debris area, many dead, much more badly injured, more to die if not helicopter ASAP. Another climber tweeted this, a massive earthquake just hit Everest. Base camp has been severely damaged. Our team is caught in Camp 1. Please pray for everyone. Nepalese officials estimate at least 1,000 climbers were at a base camp or on Everest when the earthquake unleashed the deadly avalanche. 400 of them foreigners, several Canadian. Raphael Slavinsky from Calgary sent a text to friends after the disaster saying all good on the north side. Winnipegger Paul Rinko is on edge. Two members from his climbing club are on Everest right now, but he doesn't know exactly where the mom-daughter duo is. I'm kind of hoping that they're just on the trails, which would be relatively protected, but they're going to be still at risk. The copter is landing to you now. Almost exactly a year ago, an avalanche killed 16 Sherpas in what had been the single deadliest day on the mountain. Then last fall, at least four Canadian hikers were among the two dozen killed after a blizzard and an avalanche. In that tragedy, those critically injured were airlifted to Kathmandu. But because of the earthquake, the city and much of the country is in ruin, making rescue efforts on the mountain even more difficult. Chris Glover, CBC News, Winnipeg.